What's with the dream catchers? Are they cursed? Is that spooky shaman with us? Or is this associate of cannibals planning to make us their next meal? We'll find out. Hello, I'm Haley, and this is Legion of Luck. Dark Winds 2 Return to the Dark series. It is a horror LARP made by the Exodus Battle LARP. We follow the story of Goose and the other poor lost souls who found their way into the Spider God's realm. Before the Spider Realm, I used to think of dream catchers as these beautiful ornaments that you hang above your bed and they capture those nightmares you have, but let the nice dreams still flow in. I'd never really thought about what happens to those nightmares. Random dream catchers had been found all around the Spider God's realm, and I had a talk with someone who found one of these dream catchers off a corpse. Oh, the dream catcher. Well, uh, I was looking around with Quinn at night, uh, just doing a scout of the area. And we see the glowing red eyes in the bush, yeah? And I think, I'm feeling young and uh, daring, let's go check it out. And it was a corpse, it was a corpse with glowing red eyes, do not like that stuff of my, uh, my childhood nightmares. And I bent down to inspect and as I touched it, as I reached out to touch it, I, I touched this hanging from its neck as well. And I, I have this... I will not share as it is, it is personal, but I have this flash of a nightmare, a reoccurring nightmare of a man that terrorized my family. And then it feds and I feel strengthened against it. But I was screaming and did not realize, so Quinn and half the camp thought I was being murdered. Ah! And then today I went up to the, uh, I forget her name, uh, the witch in the black and the red. Yes. She said it was one of hers and it was stolen, she told me thief. And I go, no, I, I pick up off the body. And then she uh, says, for gift, I will strengthen it for you. So uh, I gave her, um, gave her some worry beads. Uh, we call them, um, we call them something else, too, uh, worry beads. And uh, she, in return, smeared some of her blood on this and uh, gave me some armor. Wow. Let's get that close. <laughs> it's a little bro broken, but it still works. It still works. If I were to give it away, the nightmares would return, I am warned. Right. And also, if I die, someone may take it. But they'll get nightmares. No, then they'll go away. Though. Okay. If we make good with Bone Witch. If we make good with Bone Witch. It wasn't hard to find who this witch of black and red was, who was putting up these really unpleasant dream catchers. Her name is Akasha, and what a story she wove. Uh, Akasha followed the bones. They told her to come through this portal and find a floating cup of salt. Give them two of those willingly and one was not for its resources. Hmm. One was because they were the quest I looked for. Oh. They found my floating cup. You found your floating cup? Yes, it was your captain. How did you get to that conclusion? You worked it out. Right. I told him that's what I was looking for. Okay, yes, now I fix your brain. Okay. Cool. I do spell I fix your brain. But hold on. I have to do a thing, but you can hold on to this that way I stay in control. Can I touch you? Yeah. Alright, I need you to hold that. Yeah. Hold it? And think of your nightmare and imagine it go into that, into that and away, okay? Mm. Dream catch, catch nightmare, okay. So, hip, nose, four, Hold up, you'll catch your own nightmares. Hmm. 
It is blessed. If you're enjoying the video, please consider subscribing, giving it a thumbs up, or sharing to your love friends. Now, there's more to her story, but perhaps we'll have her tell it. Acacia. Yeah, Acacia. like the tree. Who are you? Who you just I? show up from the portal. We've never seen you before, none of us. Are you from the whole, whole different realm? Do you know I, Ambria? I've never met him. It is it where exists. many of us come from. Okay. Yes. Yes. Interesting. That's, but um, it's not where you come from. I I come from here, I come from there. Sometimes I'm there, sometimes I'm here, but I always just follow the bonds. Yes. Okay. So how did you uh, first come in contact with the bones telling you what to do? Is it something from your like your family history? <laughs> what or? do you mean tell you what to do? They just are. They speak, tell me like has this always been a case yeah they've always spoken to you of since you were little and your and your family uh the bones yes the bones are your family yeah and when i die i become the bones are these your parents they are well not these but my magic bones the bones that guide me they are my parents past my future they are they are the bonds they are magic they are life they are death they gave me oh this wind <laughs> ah, you pirate don't you love wind it like still sails and trees that's true can't you hear the earth singing to you no 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 yeah i don't have that ability yes because you don't listen People spend the waves are very loud a lot of the time. Yeah, but that is the world speaking to you in its own way. I suppose. I suppose. Listen to the waves. So, what was it that brought you to, uh, made you decide to walk through that portal and come and, well, where we all are? The bones. The bones. The bones. All right. They speak, tell me, search, uh, look, find a floating cup of salt. Yes, this floating cup of salt. Now, uh, in the past, you've you've told people that you found it, and it was the pirate, the then pirate captain uh, Quinn. Yes, the late pirate captain Quinn. Uh, for now. For now, yes, for now. Uh, wait, what? <laughs> Next question. Um, how did you come to that conclusion? Because they told me. The bones told you when you found them, him? No, the bones told me to find a floating cup of salt. And those three things were in his heart. That's what they tell me. Right, okay. The salt is the sea. The floating is the air from his ancestors. Ancient lime he had, people not know. He's not just human, he has something else. Really? Really? And the chalice... Always wondered. The chalice is his goddess. The chalice is his heart. The chalice is what guides him. Bones speak, tell me, find the floating cup of salt, and I found him. So what happened when you found him? Um... Why do you think they led you to him? I don't know. Okay, okay. I don't know. Do you dare question your gods? Do you ask the tide why it flows in I haven't got any. and out? Do you ask the sea why it has warm water that flows into cold water? Do you question <sighs> why is the sky blue? Nah. <sighs> exactly. Just is. Exactly. Just is. What's the story behind the dream catchers? Why were they put there when you entered? People in such dark place, their, their mind, their memory, when they close eye, dream, sleep, come, bring fear and darkness inside. The dream catchers take away that fear. Mm -hmm. Capture them bad dream fields. But people take 
people pick up things, not theirs. One from a dead body. Designed for everyone protection, but some people think, oh, this new, this shiny, I like this. No and offense, but pirate, do that. There's like, look, here is a thing, I'm going to take it. And then they wonder why it have bad effects. It's their own fault. It's not wrong. Exactly. Not wrong. It is a trait that we have, picking up the shinies. <laughs> but some were given willingly. Ah. Some were given as gifts. But they told us when uh, they grabbed it, they had this sudden, like a flash, kind of of a nightmare. What, what caused that? When you pick up a cup, Overfill with red wine. Does it not stain your hand and clothes when it overflows? Suppose. Is same thing. What is it overflowing with? You people so stupid. I literally just ex you see this one. I just explained. They catch dream. They catch bad dream. They catch nightmare. They take away other nightmare by catching it. Overfilling with bad dreams. But why Why do you have them around? What is that? Because when they sleep dream, it take away their bad dream. All right. Well, what happens to the bad dreams when they're in the net? Do they, do they just separate over time? I make use of them. Interesting. Interesting. All right. Uh, there has been some rumors about you and some cannibals. Um, what rumor? Who said that, that you lived with cannibals for a while? Um, yes. How did that happen? Are you, do you yourself associate yourself as a, a cannibal? Um, no, I just no. followed the bones and they took me there and I stay for many moons. Mm. Um, I there was shaman mm -hmm. uh, who knew different bone magic to what I know. Oh, right. So I learned, I travel go many places and well, when you live somewhere with very little food, you might as well use the food you have because they're understanding. Like they didn't eat their own tribe, but would eat other Right. Yeah, yeah, when necessary, survival, all that. Um, yeah, it, sure. it is a little gamey. It yeah, is. but good thing the ocean has plenty of fish. We don't exactly, really have to do that exactly, much. Exactly, I know, fish. right? Like, it, it's, it's fine. I mean, like, we don't really need to talk about the baby that I ate. I know that a lot of people were asking about that, but it was already dying of consumption. So it was already, like, dead. Yeah. So I, I didn't kill the baby, yeah. it was just served and I ate the baby yeah. and it was, it, was, it was really good, but don't tell anyone, but yeah. I think we're good, I think we're good, thank yeah. you uh, so much, everyone's getting to know you a bit better, you're not just this random witch who's just walked <laughs> in and potentially <laughs> evil. It's so cute you'll think you know me, but anyway. A little better, um, a little the, better. The, the, the moral of the story, always keep an eye on your toes when you live with cannibals is good community but i like i i i survived with most of my toes most of them yeah so yeah that's the moral of the story everyone <laughs> thank you for joining us in this episode of dark winds 2 return to the dark series a lot of time and effort goes into um filming and editing these videos and Depending on your support will be depending on how frequent I'm able to post these videos and make them. Uh, if you feel like you could, please uh, support by um, buying me a coffee, which is in uh, the link is in the description box below. Next episode, we'll go over to heal or to die. Why not both? <laughs>